welcome back to my Transformers Prime episode reviews. Today, we're taking a look at the episode Persuasion. In this episode, Megatron tries to convince Ratchet to help him complete the synth and formula in order to restore Cybertron. Picking up from where the last episode left off, Optimus Prime is still battling Predaking in the snow. And I think this is the first time that we see Predaking use his arm blaster, which is quite different from the toys, where they were either additional dragon heads or some type of crossbow weapon, which Predaking does actually have modeled onto his wrists, but he never uses them. Meanwhile, the other Autobots attempt to stop Shockwave and the Viacons. This is no place for a one-handed Autobot. Look who's talking, Mr. Giant Arm Cannon. I'll take one bum hand over one good eye any day. Yeah, I guess Shockwave doesn't have very good depth perception. But Perda King comes to the rescue and saves both his daddy and the doohickey that they were after. Back at the Autobot base, they discover that Ratchet is missing. And after a little while, they manage to suss out the plot. If Megatron is truly rebuilding the Omega Lock, as Ratchet surmised, synthetic energon might be a necessary component. On board the Nemesis, Megatron tries to persuade Ratchet to help him complete the synth and formula in order to restore Cybertron. Who sadistically crushed Bumblebee's voice box while looking him in the eye. Nice reference to earlier in the series, as well as foreshadowing B getting his voice back at the end of the show. Megatron presents Ratchet with an ultimatum. Help them with the synth and formula, or they'll hurt the kids. I like how Soundwave uses the picture that he took of them from the very beginning of the series. Again, nice callback. Are these humans supposed to mean something to me? Of course, Ratchet is trying to trick them into thinking that he either doesn't know or doesn't care about these humans. But you can't deceive a Decepticon. <laughs> humans, always the weak link. I like how this also ties into the beginning of the show, where Ratchet didn't want the humans in the base. But over the course of the series, he actually grew quite fond of them and obviously does care about them. But Megatron can't be trusted and orders Starscream to destroy the Autobots base before Ratchet even has a chance to decide. We have incoming a whole fleet's work. Agent Fowler scrambles the Sky Strikers, but Starscream's missiles slip through, devastating the Autobots' hangar. Or so they think. The mess hall sure is a mess. We are fortunate the Decepticons can be fooled by a simple paint job. Apparently, the Autobots had the foresight to paint over the E on their hangar and turn it into an F, while also turning the F hangar into an E. I guess you can deceive a Decepticon after all. Megatron again tries to convince the Autobot medic to help him restore Cybertron, but Ratchet reads him like an open book, knowing that Megs would not stop at just Cybertron and that he'd want to conquer Earth too. Back at the Autobot base, Raph is enlisted to help them find Ratchet, using a bit of laser beak that Smokescreen shot off. Uh, Raph, that's Cybertronian code. Wait, first Raph understands Bumblebee, now he reads Cybertronian? Are we sure he's not some kind of alien? And you guys don't? I mean, it's not that hard. What are they teaching you kids in school anyways? Wait, have I not been putting subtitles for B? I guess I just assumed that you could all understand him too. I'll try to remember to do so in the future. I've been learning for a while. In between stuff, when Ratchet had time to teach me. Ratchet is obviously a very good teacher which is probably why they asked him to help out at RescueBots Academy. If it's talking to its mama, can we triangulate the signal? Did Fowler just confirm for us that Soundwave is Laserbeak's mommy? Aw, so cute! Megatron once again tries to wow Ratchet with science. She blinded me with science! Yep, yeah, bip, bip, bip. Nico, I needed that! I was just trying to tighten up that thingamajig. Police! Aw, he said the thing! 
I love that even RC is picking up on the fact that Raph and Miko are acting like Ratchet and Bulkhead. So cute! Meanwhile, Fowler tries to recruit Jack. Agents like? Maybe you someday. What? You'll be of age soon. And your prime material, son. Well, the show is called Transformers Prime. Huh, I wish they would do some kind of sequel series to the show. You know, a direct sequel series. Not another show in the same continuity like Robots in Disguise and Rescue Bots Academy. But a series that featured Jack, Miko, and Raph all grown up. Where are they in five or ten years after the end of this series? Are they working for Unit E? What about Agent Fowler? Did he end up marrying Jack's mom? Would they recast her since her original voice actor sadly passed away? Or would they write her out of the series somehow? And of course, how would they make this a Transformers show while not interfering with the Elan continuity as we know it already? Would we have a new group of Autobots? Hey, maybe RC could have her own team just like Bumblebee did, thus explaining why she was absent in Robots in Disguise. Oh well, let's move on to the rest of the episode. You can let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see in a Transformers Prime sequel series. And who knows? Maybe I'll mention some of them in my review of the ending movie, Predacons Rising. Sorry, Agent Fowler. I think I need to change my Star Spangled shorts. I'm still fine-tuning Chip's remote. Chip? Wait, so did Ralph name his flying drone after the other Brainiac kid from G1? Chip Chase? Or maybe it's just a coincidence. And we end this episode with Megatron showing Ratchet his reconstructed Omega Lock, finally convincing the good doctor to help him. I'll do it. But then you already knew that, didn't you? Well, that was a pretty good episode of Transformers Prime. There were certainly a lot of references to previous events, and even foreshadowing some things to come. Overall, a very good episode of Transformers Prime, which nicely sets up this show's upcoming season finale. Well, what about you? What did you think of this episode of Transformers Prime? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and do all that other fun stuff. And I'll see you here next time for the penultimate episode of Transformers Prime, Synthesis. So I'll see you next time for that.